Coming in at 26 feet, 11 inches, roughly 4,000 pounds dry. If you've been looking for that entry-level slideless RV that could easily sleep five people, let me introduce you to the Gulfstream Enlighten 25BH. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young standing inside the all new 2022 Gulfstream Enlighten 25BH. Great entry level bunkhouse travel trailer for the family that wants to get up off the ground camping and dip their toe into the RV waters. And what's great about Camping World is if you like this video or if you want to see more, maybe you want some tips and tricks, some how to's, some great products to go along with your RV, be sure to click down below, give us a like, hit subscribe and notify. So the next time we get a video out, you're the first one to see it. Now, first one to see the up front of this 25BH is going to be you as well. Right here, you do have the upgraded mattress on these. I like how Gulfstream is doing that for you. Plus, it's nestled in the front cap here. You got the storage lip up top and solid wood cabinetry with the matte black feature pulls all the way around. Good ward storage there. Good end table or night table space there with 110 power plus dual USB charging. Uh, 80 inch ceiling heights on these plus double LED reading lights. So if you want to go to bed, you know, your loved one doesn't, they want to keep reading. You don't have that one there. Just the little things about RVs these days that make the trip a little bit more enjoyable. And to me, that's just one of them. Some conveniences like strut supported storage underneath the bed. That to me is, is another thing because when you're out camping uh, and you're trying to load stuff in, the last thing you wanna do is throw out a rotator cuff. Trust me, I've done it, but just trying to load stuff in. So having that strut support on the storage box, very nice. And Bob, while we're down there on the floor, you'll take a look at this flooring, all one piece, upgraded vinyl, easy to clean, and we're going to talk a little bit about the construction of Gulfstream when we sit down because they gave us a handy dandy uh, photo to use over there. Friction hinge door leading us into the main entry. Plus, you got your main controls right there. Run out your awning. Now, this is a slideless RV, 36 feet, 11 inches, roughly 4,000 pounds. Got your light controls. You do have your water heater and your pump. And on this one, you got a six gallon water heater to go along with your 36s on your tank. 36 gallon white, 36 gallon gray and black. Um, and what's cool, what they do with the white tank is they put the white tank on top. That's the thing that Gulfstream does with their RVs. What does that mean? It's not under the RV, so it won't freeze as often, which is very nice to have. It's in here, it's enclosed. It, sometimes it'll be under the bed, sometimes it's under the bunks. But the fact that they have that up above the actual flooring, very nice feature to have, especially in entry level. Over here on the off camp side of the RV, which when you're inside is the right, you got this pressed surface countertop here, the capital two burner cooktop, which is gas. You got to do the little lighter with that when you cut it on. Nice little cabinetry, or excuse me, nice little pattern that they have here to kind of match the flow all the way around the RV. Now they also gave you upgraded vinyl walling, which is real easy to clean, especially if the kids get sticky hands or crayons, stuff like that all over the place. That'll be real easy to clean. But I like the decor, bright with the darker accents, uh, really given what people wanted. This is kind of, uh, I like what my buddy Ian calls it. He calls it the grayish. <laughs> it's the cross between gray and beige. Solid shaker style cabinets in your storage. The wood grain with that kind of brownish gray, which really does lend itself to a good aesthetic in here. High rise faucet right there, hot and cold. Plus you got the, uh, the sink, which is a 50-50 split. Large window all covered by a solid wood balance with the decorative coating right here. Just kind of adding more to that eye appeal. GFCI outlet right, right above some of our pullout drawers. And you'll notice the pullout drawers even finished on the inside. Solid wood construction, full extension on the ball bearing drives. Plus you got a good grab and go spot there, good storage spot there. 16,000 BTU furnace right here. 13.5 BTU Dometic AC right there. Now, you do have storage underneath the bunks, or excuse me, un underneath the booth dinette that we have right here, plush padding here, and this reduces down into a sleeper. I have seen where two people can get on here. 
But for the sake of the video, we're just going to say this will sleep one person. But if you sleep like in that curled position and maybe you like to spoon, you could probably get two folks on there. But this is where the memories are going to be made. This is your booth dinette. Could easily seat four people. You got that decorative wood grain finish to go along with the rest of the decor here in the coach. Easy rounded edges too, plus uh, rounded corners on the table so you're not catching yourself moving in and out. Because in an RV that's 36 feet, 11 inches with no slide, space is a premium and catching yourself or getting hurt is not anything that you want to do. 110 outlet, large panoramic window here with wood balance, plus more storage up top and Bobby right behind there, you'll see the TV backer with the cable connection as well as 110. But this right here, uh, I gotta tell you, Gulfstream has, has really done a pretty good job. They got 16 inch on center wood studs with that R7 blown insulation, very similar to what you have in your home, that fiberglass insulation. And you'll see right here, some of the features, they got a 12 year limited warranty on the roof. It's all one piece, uh, the floor, OSB, it's got that uh, Polymax, I mean, it's it's just a durable, easy to clean floor. You also got USB multiple plugs all over the place. The upgraded mattress, like I mentioned before. The other thing that I like what they do is they put steel hurricane straps on their frame and they reinforce the corners of the windows to go along with some of that solid construction. Because a lot of times the window will just be a, a window inside of a hole. They actually reinforce each one of the corners. That's gonna help with the sturdiness. That's also gonna help with water. You're not gonna have as many water leaks coming in as you would. Over here in the kitchen, you got the Dometic 10.7 cubic foot fridge or freezer combo, which is 12 volt. Look at this, no slide, but Bobby and I can still get around. And I had bread for lunch, so I'm a little extra fluffy. It's a beautiful thing. Let me tell you, these electric uh, 12 volt fridges, uh, sure, they do run off the battery. I would suggest getting uh, solar panels just to help out trickle charge in the battery because these will drain it you know, fairly quickly. But great space, they're a lot bigger than the gas electric fridges. Uh, and the 12 volt, nice. You can even run some 12 volts off of solar if you have a big enough panel. Some pantry storage or ward storage, whatever you want to call it. It's your RV. If you want to put your socks and your underwear in here and your box of Rice Krispies and your Crunchy Munch right there, why not? Go for it. It's your RV. Do what you want to do. Your space. Sink right here with more storage. Plus, you got the 110 outlet, the HVAC controls right there for your suburban furnace, and the mirrored medicine cabinet right up here. Good storage lip on the bottom, not one up top. So if you got bottles that might fall out, put them down here. But the nice little large basin sink here, good space to get your cleaning, brush your teeth. And what's nice about having the sink out here versus inside the bathroom is if somebody's taking a shower and you got kids, because this thing will sleep up to five easily. Uh, maybe more because you got double over bunks. But if somebody's in there using the bathroom, taking a shower, somebody can be out here brushing their teeth, getting ready for bed. You're not log jammed by that process there. Solid wood construction here, holding us the extra thick plush teddy bear style mattress. That's over three inches thick. That's actually really nice. Most of the ones I've seen are like here and I'm always like, get that mattress topper to go on top. That's plush and comfortable, isn't it, Bobby? Yeah, buddy. So double over double bunks here nestled in the campsite, which is when you're inside the RV facing the back on the left. Get your large window with the curtains there, mushroom lights on both. Plus you got yourself a little storage, which is accessible from the outside. And there's our water tank, like I was talking about, being above the, uh, or just, it's, in, it's inside the RV. They'll say oh, it's above frame. Sure, it's just inside the RV. Easy, man. I ain't the brightest sharp tool in the shed. So, you know, not the brightest bowling ball on the alley. I need the stuff simplified. Solid door leading me into the bathroom. And this is the motorhome style bath that we have here. What do I mean by that? The toilet is raised. A lot of times in the motorhomes, you'll see the toilets raised. That's so they could have the pipe access and some of the construction uh, underneath, and it just maximizes the space. So you do have a raised plastic bowl with the foot flush right here. And as you can see, uh, 6'2", 200 plus pounds. I'm not cramped left or right or up or down. Once again, I got that bright decor coming in here, large skylight, plus the vent and fan really does a good job of giving us some bright light in here. And you know what? I'm not as cramped as I thought I was going to be. Uh, you do have the tub surround here. 
So a uh, great spot if you need to wash off the kids, wash off the dogs, so you're not tracking all that nastiness throughout the coach when you get done hiking, biking, fishing, or whatever. Plus the matte black features continue through your shower controls as well as your nozzle. Good little space, good little maximization of space. Let's get my shower curtain right there. Gotta tell you, man, Gulfstream did all right with this entry level 25BH, but we've seen the inside of this beauty. What do you say we go take a look at the outside? So here we are on the outside of the all new Gulfstream Enlightened 25BH. Let's start up right out front here. You got the hand crank for your tongue jack, twin 20 pound LP tanks, all seated on a singular welded tubular style frame here. You'll notice you got the manual stab jacks there in the front, plus the diamond plated rock guard to help with that debris that's gonna come off the road. That seamless roof, that single piece going all the way over the top that has that 12 year limited manufacturer's warranty on it. Great to have because seamless means less opportunities for water to get inside your coach. Got the plastic clip here, holding my storage door up with the lock. I like that and as you can see, it's finished off and passed through. Continuing that easy to clean vinyl flooring here in the pass through storage, too. So, if you have those, you know, wet items from the beach or fishing or whatever, you can throw it in there, easy to clean off. And right there is a good example of the wood studding that I was talking about. There's 16 inches on center, you know, really does a good job of giving this coach some stability and some security. Still fold up steps leading me into the main entry port here with the extra large grab handle that doubles as a door guard. And you got the electric awning, the LED floodlight. Got 110 power plus a cable connection. If you want to set up some outside entertainment, you can. Uh, Dexter Easy Lube axles here on those steel rims. I like how they gave me a little bit extra wide berth there between the uh, the axles too, because that's going to help with the ride. You're not going to have that jumping, that bouncing going up and down. The access to the storage, which this is where those bunks are over here on the campsite. You remember how we lifted it up on the inside? Bam, right there. Rear stabilizer jack sealed safety windows that are tinted all the way around this coach you got 80 percent tint on those which sure that does help with the privacy but more than anything that's going to help keep it cooler because you got that r7 fiberglass insulation in here with a 13.5 btu ac and a 16,000 btu furnace for a slideless coach that's only 36 feet 11 inches that's really all you need that that'll do you good. You'll get good two, maybe three season camping out of that. It just depends on which part of the country is your three season camping gonna be happening. Sewer hose storage, spare tire with cover mounted on the back, fresh tank fill right there. Plus you got your cable connection, your city water connection, and your dumps or your wastewater holding tanks. Now on this 25 BH right here, you got 36s across the board. You got a 36 gallon fresh, 36 gallon gray and black. 30 amp connection here, back of my Dometic 16K BTU furnace right there. Other side of my storage with my connection hose. But I gotta tell you, this is where you wanna pay attention. Whenever you look at an RV, this is the most important panel you're gonna find. This is the info panel. This will let you know the size, dimensions, the weights. What can the axles handle? What is my gross vehicle weight on this one? For example, 75, 80 on this one. But the dry weight is 4,060. So just a shade over uh, 4,000 pounds. So what does that mean? That's where you take that information back to your specialist at Camping World. And you say, help me with this. Here's what my tow vehicle can tow. Here's how many people I need to sleep. Here's where I'm gonna go camping. We have that information. We're gonna find the RV of your dreams. And if you've been looking for something that's, you know, about this size, about this weight, can sleep about five people, gotta tell you the Gulfstream Enlightened for an entry level RV should be one you should check out. But leave us some comments down below and let us know. What'd you like about this one? What'd you not like about it? Cause we love hearing from you. And while you're at it, if you like this video or you wanna see more, maybe get some tips or tricks, whatever, be sure to click that like, subscribe and notify. So the next time we get a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World. Thank you for joining me today for the Gulfstream Enlightened 25BH. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, come check out an RV, man. They're fun.